we must pivot towards innovation and technology. This transition is not just an opportunity for growth, but a necessity for our survival as a developing nation. There is no doubt that the current status of agriculture in our country does not match the potentials it has in revamping all aspects of our existence as it relates to our economy, food security, youth empowerment, poverty alleviation, and national security. The theme of this symposium has been chosen in recognition of the need for a diversification of our national economic agenda through an embrace of innovative and technologically driven agricultural practices. Nigeria is uniquely blessed with enormous factors that positively drive abundant food production for local consumption and export. Unfortunately, this has hitherto been neglected to the detriment of improved economy, poverty alleviation, food sufficiency, and national security. Hence, the existing unimaginable level of poverty and youth unemployment. There is no dishonor no dis in a country being poor. The question is, what do you do about it? Historically, Israel was desperately poor after independence in 1948, especially as its population of over 600,000 found itself having to absorb twice this number through immigrants in a very short time within some years. In 1951, it came, it came perilously close to being unable to import food and feed itself. I'm talking about Israel. The same case goes for Singapore, which was even worse when it became independent in 1965. Much of these city-states within Singapore, 3 million people we are unemployed, even within the limits of their small numbers. Both countries, however, managed to transform their economies through major investments in agriculture, trade, and education. The same can be done in Nigeria, or virtually any other country. Given the right drive, the right determination, and the right education, as well as the right investment. In our current national circumstance, investment into, into innovative and technologically driven agriculture is that right investment we must make at this critical period in our history. All over the world, every country focuses on her, on her area of comparative advantage for better economic development and competitive growth between nations. Over the years, there is no doubt, Nigeria has focused more on the oil sector as her main source of revenue, while downplaying the great potentials of agriculture, agricultural sector, which she has a comparative advantage over many countries. According to the World Population Review and the Food and Agricultural Organization, Nigeria is the world largest producer of cassava with a production of 60,000 metric tons in 2020. This position underscores Nigeria's significant role in the global and cassava market, not only as a primary producer, but also potentially affecting global supply and price dynamics due to its substantial output. This cannot be neglected. We just have to explore this advantage over all nations. Nigeria's massive production capacity places it at the forefront of global cassava production, emphasizing our country's critical role in meeting both local and international demands for this vital crop. The country's dominance in cassava production not only highlights its agricultural capacity, but also points towards its potential in influencing global cassava markets, including export potentials and global price settings. It is, however, a known fact that this production capacity of ours is supported and driven by local production systems instead of innovative technology of mechanized agriculture. What a solid state of farm ourselves. This production capacity can be increased tenfold if we adopt innovative technology, innovative technological approach at all levels, especially at the grassroots. If there is any profession in Nigeria which should acquire great technical skills 
At the grassroots level, it is in the area of animal and plant agriculture. We must awaken our consciousness to our, to our endowment and great advantages as a potential first runner in the global agricultural revolution. We have looked away for too long a time from our area of comparative advantage and competence over many nations of the world to our economic parade. This only the only option left at this time to us to revive our economy positively and engage our teeming youth population towards fostering national security is collective resolve to explore, expand, and harness our vast agricultural potentials. To achieve this, we must create a culture of non-oil economic diversification, where a trajectory of agricultural revolution must not only be a new norm, but also sustainable at all costs. As an association, we are committed to promoting this new culture by providing the necessary public education, partnering with government agencies and departments, and more especially, encouraging our members and members of the public to invest in the technological driven veterinary practice, livestock production, and general agricultural practice. However, the government at all levels must wake up to a new commitment to technologically driven agricultural practices by providing enabling environment and policies. Government at all levels should prioritize innovative and technologically driven agricultural practices by procuring modern agricultural equipment and set, up, set out effective and efficient modalities for easy farmers' access to this equipment. Government should, as a matter of urgency, address the demand for human capital development in form of human training and retraining in all aspects of innovative and technologically driven agricultural practices. Government should introduce objective reforms that aim to revolutionize agriculture. Agricultural development banks should be cited in every local government in Nigeria. Also, for better performance, agricultural extension officers should be made to interface regularly, productively, with farmers, rather than one behind revolving chairs in their beautiful offices. Government agencies such as the National Youth Service Corps scheme should be reformed to make the team graduates to be more productive in the area of agriculture rather than engaging them in the assignments that do not have significant impact in personal or national development in very few offices for administrative purposes. Just these are just options we can explore to mention but a few. The landscape of agricultural practices is undergoing a significant transformation thanks to a range of technological innovations. These advancements are designed to enhance efficiency, increase yield, reduce waste, and address the present challenges of, of sustainable farming. These advancements in technology have reached a stage where any serious-minded people and government should adopt immediately as a matter of urgency such technologies almost in all spheres of our life, especially agriculture. Therefore, if we must harness our full agricultural potentials, we must introduce key technologies involved and innovations such as precision farming, drone technology, artificial intelligence, crop management, vertical farming, real-time kinematic technology, microprocessor technology, agricultural robotics, which are eco-friendly, and other sustainable farm practices. The integration of the internet connectivity devices in agriculture enables real-time monitoring and management of farm operations, leading to level efficiency, input optimization, and yield increases. Technologies like narrow brand internet of things and the 5G are unlocking potential in crop monitoring, livestock monitoring, building and equipment management and monitoring, and also facilitate smooth connections between, between equipment, farmers, and also the farm on real-time basis. Hydroponics and aeroponics soil farming systems are new technologies and emerging approaches that we can adopt at very high levels of uh, research, institutions, and uh, of corporate organizations, especially in partnership with government. Issues like innovations in some technologies 
that cuts across standard farming systems should also be adopted. Innovations in livestock farming, such as automated dairy installations, non-antibiotic farming techniques and treatment of diseases should be adopted, especially when it comes to automated feeding system and biosecurity of farms. Leveraging GPS, GPS mapping, remote sensing, and data analytics, and data analytics precision agriculture enables detailed management of field variations, optimizing resources, and minimizing waste. This approach significantly enhances sustainability by providing detailed insights into crop health, soil moisture levels, and many more. Drones currently are revolutionizing crop monitoring by providing aerial images to detect variations in soil moisture, identify pests and disease, disease outbreaks in real time, and also assess crop health. All these aids in the implementation of, of precise and localized treatment strategies. Artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms can predict agricultural outputs, optimize plant planting schedules, and identify potential crop diseases before they spread. This level of predictive analyt analytics and automated automation paves the way for smarter and more responsive farming practices. The list of these technologies goes on. Some we can adopt now, some we can adopt in the future, but the journey must have been seen when we started. Nevertheless, a bold step. Nevertheless, a bold step out of our comfort zone and the political will to occupy our rightful place in the global agricultural competitive space through a radical departure from the old, outdated tradition of our agricultural practices must be done if we must embrace, and this can be done by embracing and adopting the innovative technologically, technological approaches. These are the panacea to our dwindling economy, food insufficiency, exponential poverty, huge unemployment, and national insecurity. As an association, we are uniquely positioned to lead this technological revolution in agriculture. Our education has equipped us with the tools for innovative agriculture and the capacity to challenge the status quo and as well drive the required changes in agriculture. We will collaborate with researchers, policy makers, industry, industry, leader, industry leaders to create scalable, sustainable agricultural system that respects our planets while limiting the capacity to produce within the confines of our environment and at the same time protecting the habitat. I therefore, on behalf of my association, the Faculty of Pepperland Medicine, University of Nigeria Asuka Alumni Association, urge each of you seated here or standing or listening online to consider the role you can play in this vital transition capable of transforming our nation and catapulting us to a greater future. Whether through entrepreneurship, research, advocacy, or education, your contributions can help to shape a future where technology and agriculture coexist in harmony to ensure food security, economic growth, and environmental sustainability for, great, for generations to come in our country. Finally, Finally, let me inform us that, like any other alumni association, we owe our alma mater, the University of Nigeria and Sugar Faculty of the Grand Medicine, the depth of commitment to service and humanity as it relates to giving back our time, our finances, towards the improvement of the academic standards and learning environment of our children and children on board. In keeping with this, I call on everyone in this assembly, especially government representatives and today's award, today's award recipients, 
who have distinguished themselves in various fields of human endeavor to use their privileged positions to support our association financially and materially for the singular purpose of transforming our alma mater, which is at the current state of exponential denomination and unimaginable decay. The path to economic growth and national security is through the fields of our farmers and the innovation of our scientists. Let us commit to supporting the agricultural sector with the technology it needs to survive, thrive, and give us food and life. Together we can create a future where everyone has access to sufficient, safe, and nutritious food and where our nation stands strong, sufficient, and secure. Thank you for your attention, your passion, and your commitment to making a difference. Together we can cultivate a brighter, greener, and more beautiful future for our country. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very That was the president of Faculty of Vet Medicine, Alumni, University of Nigeria, Suka, Reverend Professor Lawrence Okonko Aka. Thank you very much. You know, when you have somebody who is the pastor and also the lecturer delivering.